going to go back to the storyboard view and then show you another and this is one of the more neat uh, effects that you can uh, do uh, with uh, this program and and that is to split off the uh, the sound clips you can unlink the sound from the video now, I just did that all you do is right click on it and let me do that again let me let's see I don't know if I can relink it no, I can't but you just right click on it and click unlink and it'll move it down to the next soundtrack now that's very useful if you have uh, imported uh, some videos from uh, VHS a camcorder or something a lot of times the the quality of the sound on those imported files uh, is not very good and the only way that you can edit that is to split it off of uh, uh, the, the video and, and then you can uh, edit the file uh, in various different uh, uh, sound editing software. Now for this particular video I don't like the sound that is with the video so I'm just going to delete it. Uh, I'm going to highlight it and click the delete button and I've deleted the sound. Now I'm going to add another uh, element. I'm going to add a photo to the timeline to the storyboard. Uh, so I have the, the, the two elements now uh, that I'm working with and you'll see what showed up now is uh, uh, this uh, icon that lets you uh, put in the uh, uh, transition effect if you haven't already selected that in uh, the uh, options uh, when you set it up. Uh, if you want to choose one or the other and it only has three transitions that comes with this version if you want to select one of the others you can do that here uh, and and change that uh, now let's look at what we can do uh, to the different uh, effects that we can uh, put on these two elements that we have in the uh, uh, storyboard. So you, if you go over here to the left, once you've highlighted one of the elements you want to work on, you can click the effect button and that will bring this up or you can right click on the element and click on adjust effects here and it brings up the same screen. Now there's not a lot of effects that you can do with this particular software. All of them are listed here. Uh, you have some color effects and uh, quickly if you if you click that you've changed the video to black and white or sepia tones or you've uh, made a negative image if you want to do any of those. Uh, the brightness effects uh, you can uh, change the the contrast, the brightness of the video, uh, and the gamma. So with this pic particular video it is a little bit washed out so I'm gonna brighten it up by changing the contrast just a little bit. Okay now you'll notice over here on the left it shows brightness effects and what this is is it'll show you a list of all of the effects that you have on a particular element uh, in your storyboard. Uh, so let's move on uh, if I want to pan and zoom. Now I, I'm going to do that. Uh, you can set the start point here of where you want to start the pan and zoom. I'm going to leave this one alone and then you, over here you can set the end point and I'm going to drag it over so it kind of zooms in on the lighthouse there and 
I'm going to tell it uh, we're at the 4.3 uh, ratio. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click, uh, well, if I click OK, it'll come out of here. But notice on the left here, it shows that I have two effects on this particular element right now. Uh, let's look at the others. Uh, right now, I don't want to put any other effects on this, so I'll click OK. Now, if you notice this green bar here, it's adding those effects uh, to that element, and you can't do a preview until it's finished. Uh, let's do a quick preview of what we've done so far, and you'll see that uh, it's a little darker, but toward the end of the clip, you'll see it zooming in. Whoops, I didn't give it enough time. I need more time on that video. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, let's put some more effects. Let's do it on this particular uh, uh, image. Uh, what I want to do here uh, is uh, I'm going to crop it a little bit. Uh, let's uh, come down this way and this way. face there and I'll click OK and notice it says we have the crop and rotate effect uh, there and I'll click OK and that has cropped it down here in the storyboard. Now let's look at titles. We're going to want some titles and credits for our video so we're going to go up here to the insert blank and what that's going to do is insert a blank clip. Now just to the right of it, you can insert a black clip, a white clip, or a custom color clip. Uh, for this particular video, I'm going to use a dark burgundy, and I'm going to insert that, and it's going to ask me, where do I want that clip? And I want it at the beginning of the storyboard, so I'll click OK. Now I'm going to add another one, same color. I'm going to tell it this time I want it at the end of the storyboard. So I have two clips there. Now let's put some effects on those. I'm going to right click and uh, click on adjust effects and I'm going to put a title on this. Now for the title you can uh, justify it left or right or center. You can put it near the top in the middle or near the bottom. So for this clip I want it justified in the center, uh, center justification and I want it uh, in the middle. Now to adjust the font size you can use this slider bar and it'll move it up and down. To adjust the font, the typeface, uh, you click on the font button and you can select uh, the color that you want, the, the uh, font that you want, uh, the font style and the size and click OK. And then you type in whatever you want for your title. Now I'm going to adjust the size. And then one other thing you can do down here is a checkbox that says background color. If you click on that, it will allow you uh, to add another highlight, a background color, and you can uh, select from a, a large number of different colors here. Uh, uh, let's just pick one and click OK. Here again, look to the left and it shows the effects that you have on that particular uh, uh, clip. And if you click OK, uh, it shows up here in the storyboard.